This is a, the song was kind of autobiographical when we wrote it, and now it's a long time ago since we wrote it. It's like, uh, I found myself reading this book the other day called Whatever Became Of. You know, it's like, where are they now? And I'm reading, and oh, this one shows a picture. It's a child star, he played, you know, in our gang or something, and here he is as an old derelict on Malibu. It's very inspiring. And, uh, <laughs> And I suddenly realized, I'm reading this book, the book was published in 1985. <laughs> That's a long time ago. These people are all gone. I thought that would cheer you up, dear. <laughs> It was 68, and we were almost free. We were losing the war and our virginity. It was me and my guitar in a village bar. Even bleaker than McDougal. <laughs> Look, we go to the trouble to make these clothes. <laughs> the least we could do is... Ha! And lost souls in a sad cafe. Praying like hell to keep the devil away. And me all alone at the microphone. Trying to get my song to the heart of the audience. Well, they signed me to a record deal I couldn't believe. I was playing the Fillmore on Christmas Eve. Between the blood, sweat, and tears and the Omen Brothers' life, they were all alive. And as the very last note of my last song died, all the matches went up. What a heavenly it was good to get, better to give I knew I was born to live in the heart of the years. Oh, we were younger then Do you remember when it made a difference? Back along 70s in full flight I was out on the road in the American night Huckleberry Finn Goodbye. 